evaluate the limit as x goes to 0 of the arctangent of x minus the function x times the cosine of x minus 1 sixth of x cubed all divided by x to the fifth. Okay, we have to do this with the aid of a power series. It just wouldn't work well to try to do this with L'Hopital's rule. And so we need the power series for arctangent, that's one of the known power series, and the power series for cosine, that's another one of the known power series. And so we're going to take the numerator and replace each of those functions. Arctan x will be replaced by x minus x cubed over 3 and the rest of those terms. Cosine x will be replaced by 1 minus x squared over 2 and the rest of those terms. But don't forget though that that gets multiplied by a negative x. And so it's our job to find then what this power series is going to be. Replace arctan x with its power series, the first few terms of it, and then replace cosine x with its power series, the first few terms of it. I just have them in different colors here so we can recognize where the terms are coming from. And then what we should do next is distribute the x across the cosine x. So we have each power basically going up by 1. So we'll have x, x cubed over 2, x fifth over 24, x seventh over 720. That's what 6 factorial is. And we have to combine the terms that, that are alike. Let's put them next to each other to make it easier to combine. Let's do that on the next slide. And so uh, putting the terms next to each other, we have the x from arctan, the minus x from the x cosine x, the minus x cubed over 3 from arctan, the minus x cubed, uh, the plus x cubed over 2 from, our, uh, from x cosine x. There's one more cubic though the extra term that was thrown on the end of the numerator minus one-sixth of x cubed. And then we have fifth degree. x fifth over five from arctan minus x fifth over 24 from x cosine x. Two x seven terms, two x nine terms. I didn't write them all, but basically we'll have something that looks like this. And now we could take out these x's, they cancel. If you have negative a third and you add a half, common denominator is 6. If you have negative 2 of them plus 3 of them, you're going to have positive 1 sixth of them. So these two combine to be positive one-sixth of x cubed and here comes a negative one-sixth of x cubed. So those terms go away, the cubic terms go away, the x term goes away and you're left with two, two fifth degree, two seventh degree, two ninth degree, two powers basically of all degree higher than fifth. Okay, now notice x is going towards zero, not towards infinity. This time, we we'll focus our attention on the smallest exponent on x. It's x to the fifth. And we're going to multiply both numerator and denominator by 1 over x to the fifth. And what this will do for us, it gives us a 1 in the denominator. When we distribute across, our first two terms will be constant. These x fifths will cancel out. And you get a fifth minus a 24th. And then when we multiply across the other terms, we'll have x squares, a couple terms, and x fourth, and so all degree terms that are higher than x squared. But remember now, x is going towards zero. And so these terms and all the higher ordered terms will head off towards zero. 
and you're left with just these first few, we have to take a fifth and subtract the 24th. 24 times 5 would be the common denominator. You have 24 of them. We take away 5 of them. Um, uh, that's 120, and we end up with 19 of them. And that's our answer to the question. 19 over 120.